If you clicked on this video, odds are you probably already know who Christian Weston Chandler is, and you probably already know who Cyrax the Goblin is as well. That being said, it's probably not too rare that you will hear that Cyrax has replaced Chris Chan as the top locale. Uh, so I've compiled a list of some of the things that I found made them similar to one another. And today we're going to go through those and highlight them. And, and let's see if Cyrax really has replaced the big dog, Kristen Weston Chandler. Let's get into it. Oh yeah, and before we start, just for fun, uh, I'm going to put a little tally system up here just to see who did what better. Uh, kind of like those anime power scaling debates where people argue whether or not Yamcha can solve the Gecko Gecko for some fucking reason. Uh, but yeah, it's just for fun. So, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, let's get on into it. Now, it goes without saying that most locales, if not all of them, have an addiction to online activity, hence why they're a locale in the first place. But something about Rax and Chris Chan specifically is just crazy. Because no matter how bad it gets, no matter how crazy the situation, they'll never cease to film it. Every embarrassing moment that we have from Chris Chan and every embarrassing moment that we have from Rax or whatever you want to call it for Rax because I'm sure he never gets embarrassed, he has no shame, uh, it's all their own doing and they never notice it, you know, no matter how many times they get trolled, catfished or whatever, they'll never notice it and honestly, I'm not too sure who does this worse because we have a guy who, if you know, is supposedly getting evicted soon uh, and even though he just said his grandma is crying and she doesn't know what to do and she's downstairs and helpless, his first reaction is to go back upstairs and go in rage, call out trolls, fucking, I don't know if he invited people to his house, but you know, he always threatens people. Really bad. We want to get a lawyer, but around here in Ohio, it's almost impossible. My family needs an out-of-state lawyer that will take on our case and help to fight this shit. And my mom's been downstairs in tears on and off all morning. I've been trying to figure out a way that I can raise over a hundred dollars to try to get a lawyer for my family so that we can finally fight these goddamn trolls and put a stop to this shit. Because these trolls like Music Biz, Marty, and CDG have put my family in a very, very dangerous situation where we will probably be evicted if something is not done. I know a lot of people out there think that I have all this money, but the truth is I don't. I don't have the money that I deserve. I don't have the money that I've worked my fucking ass off for for the last seven years. And it's because of Marty, William Gloryhole, and CVG that I don't have that fucking money. A lot of people don't know this. But I'm losing because of Marty and them. I'm losing out on over ten million dollars in ad revenue within a few years. Within a year, I'm losing over two million in ad revenue because of the videos that are out there on the internet. But the truth is, I'm not. When it comes down to it, let me tell you the kind of fucking person I am. Let me, matter of fact, let me fucking show you the kind of fucking person that I am, dude. You guys see this wallet right here? In here is twenty dollars. And if you don't believe me, as you guys can see, twenty dollars right there, right? If somebody needed this twenty dollars, I would hand it over to them with no questions at all. If they needed it to help their family. I would hand this to them and not think twice about it. Oh hell, you see these movie ticket cards right here to the Regal Theater? You see this right here? If there was a little kid that wanted to see a movie, like really badly and didn't have money, there you go, take my cards. That's the kind of fucking person I am. Yeah, so we have that versus like... 
Chris Chan's catfishing saga, where he would get catfished all the time. Uh, it's a little bit different because with his oversharing and you know addiction to just like saying shit he shouldn't say on the internet, it was always like he thought he was talking to like a gal pal, you know what I mean? Uh, so it wasn't really just him going off the deep end saying personal things he shouldn't be saying. Uh, but I will say this though, later in life, yeah, he would just say shit like uh, his addiction to the internet would just be like him talking nonsense and just oversharing. Like there's no reason why we had to know that he was a virgin with rage. There's no reason why we had to know so many things about him, but he just seemed to tell us for no fucking reason. Like didn't he, didn't he tell, tell somebody he shit himself? Like why do you would why would you ever tell anybody that you literally shit yourself? Like you know, I don't care if you're autistic or not. Christian I think is is such an anomaly because he's always claiming to be high functioning autistic, but like I know many autistic people they do not do that. They they act nothing like Christian, but you know, that's just how it goes. And obviously when it comes to like Rax's eviction saga, uh the closest saga that I can think of to, you know, the oversharing and just doing your family so dirty obviously has to be chris chan's infamous house tour video where i'm working on it came from you know the famous fucking you you get that goddamn thing out of there you uploaded it you unloaded that i love i i've been quoting that for almost a decade now i did my friends they're so tired of it but my god it's the fucking funniest thing ever listen to me yes. listen to me yes shut that goddamn thing off I don't care what you do. You get all that stuff off of there. Tonight. I'm working on it. Go work on it. I am working. Do you realize? Do you realize something? Let me tell you. If the health department of Green County sees those videos that you put on the damn internet, they could condemn our house and we would have to move out of it. So you go get that goddamn stuff off of there and fast. I'm working on it. I was making a YouTube a video for you to tell everybody to get the images off of the internet. It's, oh. it's, it's, out, it's out of my control. Oh, you get them off. It's out of my control. I don't know where to go. I don't know you where to go. You loaded them up there. You unload them. I'm working on it. Go do it. I am working. I am doing it. I'm sorry. Get in the hair and do it. I, I, I'll I be up all night with you if I have to. First of all, big ups to Bob for telling Chris how it is, dude, because Sally doesn't say shit to Cyrex whatsoever. Uh, she's afraid of him, man. He beat her up in 2012. It's a sad shit, but, uh, you know, Bob wasn't taking it. He said he didn't want to get kicked out of his house, and, you know, he might have been, like, a mega racist and homophobe and stuff like that, but he didn't uh, take shit from Chris, so that was always nice to see. Uh, because man, he, he needs to be wrangled nowadays, dude. And he's hanging out with those old women at the the halfway house or whatever. Yeah, that's that's not a good look. But anyways, uh, so obviously both these locales should just get off the internet and should have gotten off the internet long, long, long ago. But in my opinion, I know it's not really a who did what better, but like I said, just for fun, the tally game. I'm gonna have to give this point to Cyrax because that man has a severe addiction. Like I said, Chris Chan at least thought in the beginning he thought he was talking to you know gal pals he's like oh you know maybe i'm i'm so naive maybe my uh my gal pal would like to see you know my shit stained bedspread uh but cyrex is just in my opinion he's deluded man like no way in no world can you see like your parent you know your your guardian bawling her eyes out and <laughs> and your first instinct is these motherfucking trolls <laughs> I'm going to show him what for by screaming again. The same thing that ended up getting us in this situation. So, uh, yeah, this point goes to Cyrax because that guy needs to get off the internet, man. He, he's definitely doing it worse. But it's so hard, man, because uh, the later years of Chris Chan, dude, it took me years to learn. I, I I found out about Chris a long time ago, but I after the pepper spraying moment and, like, maybe, like, I heard about the barb thing and I, I, that killed it all for me, but... Bef even before that, all his fucking weird ass ideologies and harassment of women online. He's always been a little disgusting freak, but uh, you know, but the stuff online, man, like I couldn't, I couldn't keep up with that because it just makes me so upset, man.
the police don't want to join them. We have not, doesn't want to join them. Because they are unlawfully removing other foreign free, which we have a lot of foreign free is. You know, I have any cities mentally disturbed. I'm not mentally disturbed. I didn't care anymore. I didn't care about being better than Kakarot. Now it's well known that Cyrax likes to call himself a musical genius. He thinks he's one of the best musical artists out of his generation. Uh, he loves rap music. He loves to do that little screamo shit. Uh, I, I don't really know what to call it. I don't. I used to listen to metal and stuff like that a long time ago, but I I would not consider what he does screamo or metal or anything. It's just him going Rah! all the time and thinking it's amazing. He's also really unoriginal. Uh, he's constantly caught stealing people's beats. Uh, he's caught stealing people's like lyrics and stuff like that. And I, I make beats, and I I've even made my own diss track on Cyrex a while ago for Bass Shaman's podcast. Shout out to Lockjaw Crew. What a real girl does. This bitch is cute as fuck. She only like 14, but I fuck it up. Take her to the mall, yeah, I take her to the cut. Take her to my trap house, make her sit my sludge. Yeah, bitch, this is street racing scene. But I can't reach the pedals with my feet. Yeah, bitch, this is street racing scene. But I can't drive cause I'm 43. Oh no. Yeah, our little goblin friend, he can't even like learn to make a simple beat. I remember one time on Bass Shaman's stream, we watched him like in FL Studio <laughs> and he was just sitting there with his mouth agape like staring at the screen and he was putting these guitar sounds or something together. It was just so funny, dude. Like there's no way, all, you know, all it takes is, is just for these guys to learn a simple tutorial. Just look up something, man. They don't have jobs. They don't have any responsibilities. Just look up something. You have what every adult human being wants. You know, and you just refuse to take advantage of it. And what that is, is just countless amounts of time on your hands uh, and no responsibility. Anybody above the age of like 17 or 16, because I mean, some people, they get busy, bro. They get busy when they're 16 and stuff like that with life. All they want to do is take a break, sit there and learn something that isn't, you know, work. And these guys have that opportunity and just waste it year after year after year. And it's just fucking sad. You better get a motherfucker the name is motherfucking skull face. I'll hit you with the motherfucking skull right in the motherfucking face and I won't give no fucks. I'm done giving a fuck about you motherfucking names. Everybody wanna try to throw my motherfucking career in no motherfucking grave. <laughs> Y'all ain't doing shit fucking. Yeah, so we have that, which is probably Cyrex's most popular song. Either that song or Street Racing Scene, I think is what it's called. Uh, with that S15 or whatever. He's talking about driving and they got to get back or get their, their names known in the street when he's never driven a car ever. Like, you know, he's never even driven like 20 miles per hour down the block. You know, he's, apparently he's afraid of doing that. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and compare that song to Chris Chan's famous So Need a Cute Girl. He wrote it a while back and it's a cover of, uh, what is that? The Backstreet Boys, I Want It That Way, came out 13 years ago. It's a banger of a song, but uh, let's go ahead and play it. Like it or not, Chris Chan put his soul into that track, and it's an absolute banger in my opinion. Uh, but his production is lacking, obviously. Uh, so here, here's the thing though. Is the cover slash remix better than an OG song? Like Rax's song that we played, you know, it's, it's from his heart too. It just sucks ass, and he just, motherfucking bitch, in my eyes, uh, put, my, put my pistol to your skull and let it blow. It's like, bruh, first of all, 
No, you never held a pistol. You never fought anybody except for uh, Marty and you get your ass whooped. Yeah, so I'm gonna give this point to Christian because that's coming from his heart. That's coming from the reality, his reality. He's letting us in, in his mind, his world, and we can all relate to needing a cute girl. So yeah, he wins this round. And if you don't agree that so need a cute girl is a banger, then fight me in the comments because that's an absolute certified classic right there. You've got to get out of my oh, car. The motel threatened to kill me. 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 Okay, so for this next one, we have to go far back into Chris Tree, like back when he was a child. Uh, we all know when he first. We all know. Sorry, I have to. Every t I have to do that every time now. Uh, we all know that when Chris first started, he was that kid on the news where he won the Sonic competition. And uh, he, he said one thing, he said... Who was exactly what Sonic the Hedgehog cartoon and I'd listen to what Sonic says at the end of it. So for years, I thought that was just like an innocent child saying like, Oh, my favorite cartoon character said the thing on TV. Uh, we'll cut to years later, it, it turns out Chris actually does believe fictional events happen. Uh, he believes that fictional characters have feelings of their own and if you kill them then you're actually a murderer. I'm pretty sure if he watched Dragon Ball Z or something like that, he would think the Saiyan saga happened. So uh, let's keep him away from all violent animes please so he doesn't have a fucking aneurysm. At some point it got so bad that he was hurting his mom and like I think hurting himself because he thought his girlfriend or something like that in the fictional world was like under attack and being tortured so he was doing shit like this. It's silly, please. Please, I beg you, stop torturing my Crizel Rose Chew. Please, don't hurt her anymore. She means the world to me so much. Please, stop torturing her. This is not right, this is not good, and it's no fun at all. Please, stop this senseless nonsense of yours, you fucking bitch. Like, they really had this nigga hitting that Dogeza for real, like, all on his knees and shit, begging, like. And let's not forget, during his Alec Benson lyric call, he calls Alec naive because he says uh, fictional characters aren't real and don't feel anything. Uh, and that's that's one thing from the past that just, like, there's no way, because he gets, he got kind of upset with them, if I remember. He's like, yeah, yeah now you are just so naive. That is so f stupid. <laughs> To think that fictional characters don't have feelings, like, come on, Chris. And cartoon characters don't actually think and feel things. You don't. All right, I got it. Okay, you here's the question. You obviously, are naive about that because you're not fully under, you're not understanding that how soon um, a bad universe actually existing. So you do believe that um, when an artist creates a cartoon character, that character actually becomes real? Is that what you're saying to me? Within that universe, yes. But the universe is fake. I mean, the Astro 2 universe exists on paper and in my computer. It's just, it's whatever I write it to be. Now that's just scratching the surface with Chris Chan in this topic because nowadays he believes in something called the dimensional merge, which I'm sure we've all heard about that as well. Uh, I, I don't know what the, what the hell he got this concept from. I've heard it was Rick and Morty. I've never really watched a lot of Rick and Morty. I know they go through portals sometimes, but I just think it's so funny that he got this huge, huge idea out of a fucking show like Rick and Morty. Uh, also, side note, it's insane that everything in Chris's life is stolen from something, down to his his magnum opus, Sonic Chew, uh, his jokes from Family Guy, his beliefs from Family Guy, and of course his Omega belief from fucking Rick and Morty. I, I just can't get over that. And moving over here to Cyrex, honestly, you can just look at the guy and tell he's deluded. He believes in fictional shit. But uh, as far as I'm aware, everything in his life is fictional. He believes all these things that just are not true. Uh, down to his little head hit when he's like, oh, I'm a, I'm a musical genius. But uh, this clip from Sally proves it the best. Not right now. Not right now. I'm trying to get through these motherfuckers saying the thing that we need the fuck alone in our family alone. <laughs> Protecting our family is more important, thank you. Mom, the skull ended up with the fuck your lost girl because of this guy. How do we know that we're not? No, no, how do we know that we're not next? You need to think about that. 
go to the fucking hospital with a bullet in his goddamn brain right now? How do we know that we're not dead? We're not dead. How do you yeah. fucking know? How do you know? Well, no way that how do you know? It ain't a game, Ma. It's not a fucking game. No, one of my friends is in the goddamn hospital right now. The best thing I can do is call these motherfuckers out. That's the best thing I can do. motherfuckers right the fuck now and this is coming from me and my whole family any one of you continues this shit you're dead go after my family and you're fucking dead go after my family and you're dead man and that's a fair warning to every one of you Keep going after my family, and I will have every one of you slaughtered like fucking pigs. So go ahead. Keep going after my family. Go ahead, William. See if I don't slit your throat and murder your family. See if it doesn't fucking happen. Fair warning. Who's the king? You are? Then run away now. You shut the fuck up. He's, he's all, I'm trying to protect my family. From nothing, it, it, nothing's happened. You know, the, the most that's happened is in the future. This was like years ago, I wanna say, maybe two years ago that this video came out and, and nothing had happened physically at that point. So yeah, he's just screaming at people online like he usually does. Also notice how mad he gets with his quote unquote mom there. You know, it's like, it's crazy that someone, especially a 30 year old can yell at their parent like that. like with no shame even a kid doing that is like dude get the fuck out of here like i don't know how kids end up doing that like i've never spoken to my parents like that ever obviously he's fighting fake demons here i don't understand how how you can get like that you know actually i do understand it's all sally's fault a lot of people have this this empathy or sympathy whatever you want to call it for sally i don't have a damn thing for her to be honest because you know maybe the first couple times but he's like this because of them he's like this because of because of her she protects him every time if you ever listen to any calls between like sally and the trolls at first it was kind of cordial but then it turns into well you guys make him mad okay and like what he, this all started because nobody liked his music that's how honestly it all started when we found out that he uh, beat you up sally and then after that we found out he's a pedophile so that's where it all technically started but if you want to go before that really it was just mean comments on his music being sh and he would lash out and, and threaten to kill people anyways back to our tally system this obviously goes to christian western chandler because at least his at least his fictional shit comes with a famous world or a fun world to escape to just to see how ridiculous it can be even though it's a bunch of mary sue stolen bullshit anyways uh cyrax's fictional fighting just just gives us nothing but anger because he's such a fucking asshole like my god so that's gonna sum it up for part one guys 
Uh, if you like the video, please leave a like. It's my first video. Hopefully I get better at editing. I'm just having fun with it for right now. You know, I'm a little busy, so... And if you're keeping track of the tallies, then Chris Chan still wins this. He, he's the king of the internet still. The king, lol cow, the top dog, the big bomb. bomb But like I said, that's about it for now. Uh, if you guys want to see a part two, please like the video, subscribe to the channel. Uh, hopefully it can come out soon. Uh, and hopefully you guys can have a good one. It's your boy Virgo, and peace. At one point, it's even gotten so bad that he was like hurting himself and and doing Willy. Fuck Willy. I saw Willy. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Mega Man was the Mega Man guy. Doctor Wily. Doctor Wily with the web. <laughs>